It's predicted that patients with minor and some more serious eye conditions will go to their local high street optician for screening and treatment instead of the GP or hospital. Well, good habits start early, which is why high street optician spec savers have made a major investment in children's eye care. Robin Ross went to see what innovations are on the horizon. Freya is just one year old and has perfect eyesight. Hopefully she'll be screened when she's five years old, but it's a postcode lottery. Only a third of local authorities carry out school vision screening. The College of Optometrists has warned that this puts children at risk of developing learning problems. Harvey is nine years old and was prescribed glasses after struggling at school. If there's like number seven, I'd think it was like number five. So then I'd get that question wrong. But now I've had the glasses, I can see what the numbers are and letters are properly so I can get most of the questions right now. To help other children like Harvey, Specsavers, the UK's largest high street provider of eye care, is sponsoring an online vision screening system for primary and secondary schools. The software is operated by teachers and support staff and takes just three minutes to complete. It's designed by researchers at City University London. Specsavers backing has allowed the software to be offered for free. I don't think that this whole project would have worked if we'd had to charge schools a licence fee because it's a new role for, for schools to take on. Some will probably use it on a systematic basis, so to screen all the children at a certain age. In other schools it looks as though they're going to use it on an ad hoc basis, so if they see a child squinting at the board. It's all part of Specsavers gearing up to deliver more eye care on the high street. That's the big vision, to, to be the GP of the eyes. We, we know that the eye hospitals are full and we have got four-year qualified optometrists who can actually step up to that role of offering more convenience. That's going to be good for everybody. An ageing population and new treatments are putting pressure on the NHS and optometrists are seen as the solution. Specsavers is fast becoming a leader in this field. Technology used in hospitals can be found in many stores, iPads are used for digital precision fittings and it's the only accredited provider of level 6 BTEC qualifications in children's eye care for optometrists and dispensing opticians. It's part of an extensive professional development programme at Specsavers. The children's vision one is front and centre at the moment. It's a unique qualification and it enables our professionals to fully engage and understand children's eye care, not only in terms of their educational requirements, but also in the requirements of the patient. Let me introduce you to Jessie. She's six months old and she's changing the face of children's optics. Jessie is one of a series of specially designed model children's heads that has enabled Specsavers to develop glasses that are a great fit for children instead of being just scaled down versions of adult glasses. The research used to design them is part of Alicia Thompson's PhD in paediatric dispensing. The most impressive part is they're not waiting for the data, they've already acted um, and on a particular range of frames we, we've dropped the bridge, we've changed the shapes so we have no flat top shapes anymore where the child can easily look over the top and also we've, we've made sure that they're adjustable. Harvey's frames have been designed using the new research. They fit well, they're, they're designed to fit a child and not an adult, it's a much happier child. The idea is to treat the whole family, from young to old. Doug Perkins has been an optometrist for almost 50 years. It's never been more exciting than it is now because we're working ever more closely with the health service and the hospitals. We've always screened for health, but now we'll be able to make a, an ever greater contribution.